Hello there and welcome to this quick little guide on how to get more requests for public works projects in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now this method isn't 100% guaranteed to get you a bunch of requests, but it does increase your chances a lot other than getting about one per week. So for this you will need da -da -da -da, a wetsuit. And the idea is that you're going to jump in the water uh, and you're just going to chill out for about 5 or 10 minutes, 5, 6 minutes should be enough, away from the villagers so that they can't see you. So I'm just going to swim to the bottom right corner of my, my ocean here. And I'm going to chill out for 5 minutes, let's see what the time is. 10.42, so I'm going to chill out for about 5, 6 minutes and I'll be right back with you and I'll explain to you how this works. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, so it's now about, it's now about, <laughs> it's been about eight minutes, and about 200 jellyfish stings. Um, but it's important, I forgot to mention this, it's important to keep your game open and not close the console. Um, because that pauses the timer, if you will, it counts as pausing the game, so your villagers won't forget about you. Now the idea is that your villagers, uh, sorry, your villagers have forgotten about you now, so you walk around and there's a higher chance of triggering a ping event just like that. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to want to have an empty inventory or empty pockets um, because otherwise your villagers will attempt to buy stuff from you. Let's just hide that away in a letter. You're also going to want to have no money on you as well because villagers will attempt to sell you stuff. Um, as you saw there, Vic just randomly gave me an item. That can happen as well. Um, like I said, this isn't a foolproof way to get more PWPs, but it does increase the chance of those events happening. Um, so long as you decrease the chance of other events happening. So you're just going to run around town, looking for any villagers that may be outside. If you do it once and you do not get a public works project request, then the answer is quite simple. You go take another swim. <laughs> Um, you do this for as long as you want. Like I said, it's not a foolproof method of doing things, but it does increase the chances. So I'm just going to go over here, chill out for another five, ten minutes, maybe go wash the dishes, you know, just do daily stuff, do your chores in between breaks, leave the console open, and I'll be back in about ten minutes. Okay, so twelve minutes later, Oh, not you. <laughs> 12 minutes and one shower later. <laughs> Let's try our luck again. Let's roam around town. Take a sneeze. <laughs> and see who, if anyone, wants to request a public works project. There we go. Bam wants us. Okay, so there's something else he can do. They can, they can ask for new greetings. Okay, those guys are going to have a conversation, which means they probably won't ding us. Nope, there's a surprise. Uh, so people, uh, villagers will also want new greetings and catchphrases. So that kind of sucks, but you know, there's something you got to live with. Freya doesn't want us, so I think that's all of our outside villagers yet again. What I will do is something else you can do to increase the chance of getting PWP requests rather than uh, random items is to fill up your pockets with something like flowers which the villagers can't buy and it also um, hogs up your inventory space so they can't sell you stuff and so that they cannot um, give you stuff for free as well so there's another little tip so I will stuff my pockets full of flowers pocket full of posies and I will jump into the ocean and once again, I'll see you in about 10, maybe 15 minutes. The longer the better, really. Um, don't expect to do it first try, <laughs> as I have proved. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll cut back until I get a PWP request, and we'll see how long it has taken me. And there we go. Celia has asked me to commission a fairy tale streetlight as the next Public Works project. And it didn't take too long at all, literally as soon as I left, uh, it's now, let's check time, quarter past eleven. So I did literally spend five, six, seven minutes in the ocean after the last cut. 
and Celia was the first person I saw after coming out of the ocean. So uh, there we go, it's very effective. Um, having the flowers in your pockets kind of helps because it gets rid of those two events, three events, sorry, which I mentioned earlier. See if Freya wants a snow. And we'll finally just check if Tammy wants to see us as well. Uh, if I can find her. Something to mention, if you're after getting a bridge type, um, you can only get new bridge requests if you do not have three bridges in your town. Because if you have three bridges in your town, that's the maximum amount of bridges you can have. No, Tammy doesn't want us. So the villages will not request any more. So there we go. Uh, that took me about half an hour in total, so if you're watching something like TV, just leave the game open while you're catching a TV program or watching a YouTube video or something like that. There is a rumour saying that you can only get one Public Works project per day. Um, I do not know if this is true or not. Perhaps this is a case for the Animal Crossing New Leaf Mythbusters. Uh, if you did not know, I've started that as a series on my channel as well. The first episode was out a few days ago and we checked out to see if using the snorkel mask can help you swim further or faster underwater. So don't forget to check that out as well, and also throw a like on this video if it helped you get some more Public Works Project requests. And also coming up very shortly on my channel will be a guide to helping you choose where you want your villagers to move in, uh, so they don't place their plots of land on a random pathway or in front of a building or just anywhere you don't want. So there will be an annotation to that on screen as well, so don't forget to check that out. And I will thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.